Hi, welcome to GS. In this video, we will talk about how to troubleshoot a Logic App run. One of the most frequent problems we face during troubleshooting of Logic App is identifying run associated with it. It is a bit easy when we have few runs a day. When a problem is reported, we could ask for a timestamp and go to the Logic App run history, filter by the time window and try to find the Logic App. But when you have some thousand runs per day, you can still use the timestamp. You can go to the run history. You can search, you can filter by window. You can filter by failed runs. When you filter by failed runs, one thing to note is there might be a case that the logic app indicates successful even though that's the actual culprit. It, it depends on how we implement our logic apps. In this video, we will see how to troubleshoot the logic apps. What is the best practices we need to follow during the development so we can debug the logic app super quick in the production environment. Let's get into it. Before you begin, you need to have a log analytic workspace configured for your logic app. Without this, debugging can be a nightmare in production environment. I made another video on what is log analytic workspace and how to configure it. I will leave a link in the description below. You can get it from there. Long story short, when log analytics configured properly, it will ingest log data into workspace repository. We can then go to log analytic workspace, query the logs to see logic app execution details. The next thing needed is to log the data from Logic App. For that, Logic App has a feature called Tracked Properties. Let's check this out. I'm in my Logic App. Edit. If I go to this Execute JavaScript action, Settings, you can see Tracked Properties here. What exactly is a Tracked Property? how it is useful. You can track input or output of an action using tracked properties. When tracked properties are configured in Logic App, while execution, this data will be ingested to log analytics and it will be associated with run instance. This is very useful for debugging purposes. For example, if you have HTTP trigger Logic App like this one, which receives numerous requests from different clients, it is hard to track back which run instance associated to which client. If we log client ID using tracked properties in every run, we can simply query log analytics using client ID and find the run ID. We can use this run ID to find out the running instance. Let's see this in demo. Now, Let's configure tracked properties. I'm configuring tracked properties for execute JavaScript code action. We can call it as a client ID. And the value is, it's simply output of this action from the body, I'm just logging the ID. Paste this here, click on done, click on save, this is saved. Now let's trigger a run, id is 456, let's run it, received 200, received same request which we passed, refresh, there is a run at 924. Now let's go to our log analytic workspace. Okay, I have the logs from 924 run. Let's find out our tracked property column here. It's supposed to appear here. Okay, tracked client ID. We have this already here. And if you see 456, this is what we logged. And this is what I'm talking about. Now, if I simply do a search, contains 456 in our case 
run this you have one record you simply go here look for run id copy this go to your logic app run history paste the specific run identifier so input output 456 so this is very very useful when you have many many requests coming into this logic app and customers have reported okay something went wrong and this is the identifier the easiest way is to go into log analytic workspace search with that id and get the run id and look for the run instance you might be thinking if i filter by failed status i will be getting only few i can look in those based on the timestamps that is not necessarily always true there could be cases where the logic app might be indicating the run status as successful based on how we have coded even though there is something wrong so there are cases where you might want to go into a logic app which was succeeded and see there and it's very very tricky if you don't have a timestamp let me conclude this one the best practice here is to diagnostic settings through which you will send the logs to log analytic workspace in this case then make sure you configure tracked properties for your logic app pretty much this tracked property is the unique identifier which will flow through your logic app which you can use to uniquely identify your logic app now use the identifier and search in log analytic workspace and find the run id related to the logic app get the run id go to logic app run history search with that run id there you go hope this one will help thank you